Hi, and welcome to LB0, Fox Indian Norwegian Ham Ventures, and uh, welcome to an episode of I Bought This So You Don't Have To. I'm working LB0, Fox India, and this is a Chinese SDR receiver. Um, you can find them all over AliExpress, eBay, or Banggood as I bought mine. And let's just take a look at the physical looks on this first, and then I'll, by the end of the video, get to why you shouldn't buy this. It's, it's actually a pretty small unit. See here, it's eight point, well, it's nine centimeters, including the SMA connectors. Long, five centimeters wide, and two centimeters tall. So it's a, it's a lot smaller unit than I expected it to be actually when I order it. And just for <laughs> comparison, Let's um, let's show it with an uh, RTL SDR dongle here, which is a product I could recommend you to buy actually. And expensive works great. Let's get back to these, this little Chinese uh, receiver here. It's got five SMA connectors, each marked with different bands. And that would make me guess that there are some filters in there. And there actually are some filters in there. We'll open it up and see. There's a USB-C connector here, very good. And let's just open this thing up and see. And you gotta be careful when opening this up because I've already lost one screw. The screws are really, really tiny. They're actually pretty, <laughs> pretty well screwed together. It takes a little while to open this. And one of the screws actually kind of stuck a little bit, but let's take it out and take a look at the board here. The board is really cleanly soldered. You can see, if you look here, there are different filters uh, for each of the inputs. There are some Chinese labeling. There's the two MSI chips here. And not really much more to that. And if we turn it around and I'll zoom in for you, there is a text here. Research science and technology and prepare to serve the motherland. And that's about it. But it's a clean PCB, well made, looks great. So let's just put it back together and um, I'll get to why you shouldn't buy one of these. There we go. So why shouldn't you buy one of these? Well, if we take a look at the Banggood page where I bought this one, it says it's an SDR RSP1 software defined radio receiver, blah, 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 blah. And it's absolutely correct. But what you should be looking at here is it's an RSP1. And this is a really well produced clone of the uh, SDR Play receiver, the SDR Play RSP1. It's a really well put together clone. It's even improved with a little bit more filtering here on the uh, uh, on the different sections. So there are several different sections here for different bands. But that leads to why you shouldn't buy it as well. Because it's not just a hardware clone, but you're actually forced to use the SDR Play drivers for this. And that's a problem because they are closed source. And it's clear, clearly stated that those drivers are only for the legitimate devices. So there is no way of using this receiver in a legal way, which actually is a shame because I tested it just barely and it works really well. But I bought this so you shouldn't have to because this little receiver is just a Chinese copy, not even with its own drivers. So if you want to get a good SDR receiver, get the genuine kind, perhaps get an RTL SDR dongle if you can't afford one of those more expensive ones, but stay away from these ones, unfortunately. Because for a little bit less than 30 US dollars, it's hardware-wise a steal. 
And if you want to take a closer look at this, I'll leave a, an affiliate link for Bangu down below. But uh, I hope you click on the link, but please don't buy this. Seriously. Um, I did a video a little while ago uh, where I talked about being honest with you. And this is a product you shouldn't buy. But if you like this video and if you like this piece of advice, please click the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below on what you think about my opinions on this. And if you want to tip me a little bit, instead of getting, uh, instead of uh, letting me get some affiliate money for bad products, there are some virtual tip jars down below. That's it for now. I'll be back soon. Until next time, my friends, 73.